Another great way of enjoying Kalawita Extra Virgin Olive Oil is to fuse it with the most traditional Chinese cooking. Today, I'm going to show you how to how do we use Kalawita Extra Virgin Olive Oil into a very traditional Chinese or uh, crystal dumpling. We um I'll be showing you how to make the skin from scratch. But um, instead of wrapping prawns, we are wrapping vegetables like carrots, celery, baby corn, and mushroom. Now, before we start, let's give all the ingredients a quick dice. It is very important to have all the ingredients diced up in the same um, size because you want them to be very uniform. And that actually affects the mouthfeel that you'll be getting as well as you eat them. For ginger, just simply dice it. Dice up all the ginger as we will use this as a major flavor contributors to this dish. I will also be using baby corn as this, the baby corn will actually contribute to um, a great texture. We want to dice this up as well. Have all the ingredients, all the vegetables chopped up in equal size. I'll put this into a bowl. Fresh, freshly picked shiitake mushroom. Now the mushroom is not only tasty and it is also very nutritious as well. By wrapping all the vegetables together, I'm actually ensuring all the colours. I've got the red from the carrot, the green from the celery, um, the black and, and the white from the mushroom and also the yellow from the baby corn. The next thing I'm going to do is heat up the pan because I will saute the vegetables in olive oil. Kalawita extra virgin is what I'm using now. Just two tablespoons. We'll add in the ginger. We do not want to overburn the ginger. Um, I want the ginger to slowly release releases its um, aromatic flavour into the olive oil. Next goes is the carrot and the celery, the corn, and the mushroom. I want to allow the vegetables to be cooked slowly in the pan by lowering down the fire. Now for a, for a crystal clear dumpling skin, we will be using um, four types of uh, flour or starch as a base. Um, the first is we are using 125 gram of wheat starch. Wheat, 10 grams of tapioca flour, a little bit of salt, and another 15 gram of tapioca flour with another 5 gram of corn flour. First of all, we need to weigh out 230 gram of water. We, we want to boil the water before we actually cook the flour into, into it. Now we really do not want to over season um, the vegetables mixtures because we want we want to allow um, all the vegetables to release its natural flavour, its natural sweetness from the carrot, from the mushrooms and the corn. So a little bit more olive oil. Into a bowl is 230 gram of water. So just cook it. And we want to allow this to boil. I can actually smell the vegetables, the, the natural aroma that comes up from the vegetables. So the water is boiled and we will add in the combinations of wheat starch and uh, the tapioca flour. Remember to use a wooden spoon and keep stirring it until all the water is being absorbed into the flour. A pinch of salt to give the extra saltiness on the skin. And 
um, a tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil. Stir this around until dough is formed. Now, I want to transfer this onto my working table. And I want to start flattening this. At this stage, it is still very hot because of the boiling water that we have added in just now. I'm adding the flour one at a time. It is very good. If you're really used to this, you're actually thinking that you're pressing on something that is, that is very chewy and it's very soft and it's very warm at the same time. I'm going to add in the rest of the tapioca flour and the cornstarch a little at a time while kneading on this. So you want to keep on kneading until, um, until all the flour is well combined into the dough. We want to allow this to cool down before rolling it into a lock. Into a shape of lock that will actually enable us to portion it up into 10 gram per portions and we'll wrap this, we'll wrap the vegetables into the little dumpling. Get ready of a rolling pin because this may come useful. Okay, I, I know the dough has cooled down a bit because it is, it is cool to touch and it's not as warm as it's used to. Roll into a ball. Now it is very important to have all the portions um, in equal weight because you're going to ensure that they are going to cook. Um, they're going to cook it almost at the same time. So we want to flatten this further by using a rolling pin. That's a little bit of flour. Not too thin. And we will wrap some vegetables, not too much, into a little dumpling. Close it up and make a seam around it. Fold this up and use an, a fork to make the mark. And this is to actually um, seam the edges together. So as you cook it, um, it will stay close uh, until you eat it. We will put this into the steamer. Now remember, to oil the steamer, um, to oil the surface of, we want to avoid um, the stickiness of the dumpling um, onto the, the surface of the steamer. I'm just going to put this in and we'll steam this for um, 8 to 9 minutes or until it is cooked. So, my crystal dumpling is almost crystal-like now. It is transparent and I'm ready to serve this. Let's take it out one by one. By drizzling more olive oil onto the dumpling, will avoid the dumpling from sticking onto each other. And we are ready to serve this.